Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe before watching today's video. As is well known, due to changes in the external environment, chip foundries such as TSMC and Samsung have successively lost the power to freely ship their products to the outside world. At the same time, the new round of chip control strategies implemented by the United States has directly placed high-end chip products from American companies on a prohibited sales list to China. Under these circumstances, the difficulty and cost of procuring high-end chips domestically have increased significantly. The only solution to break this deadlock is the localization of high-end chip products. Only by achieving localized replacement of relevant products can the other side be prevented from arbitrarily choking China's supply, and only then can China's chip industry successfully achieve a comprehensive breakthrough. Recently, in the chip field, which is under strict control by the United States, Chinese companies have once again delivered good news. The accelerated rise of domestic memory chips, with Yangtze Memory Technologies Company, Limited YMTC, officially entering the HBF market, a situation that the US and South Korea did not want to see. It is understood that before 2017, China's main memory chips were concentrated in low- and mid-range products. High-end memory chips could only be imported. At that time, news of a factory accident or fire at Samsung, SK Hynix, Kyoxia, Japan, or Micron Technology, USA, could cause significant fluctuations in the price of memory chips in China. Taking advantage of production reductions due to factory accidents and other reasons, the price fluctuations of related chip products in the Chinese market allowed overseas memory chip giants to make a fortune. It wasn't until the advent of Yangtze Memory's 3D NAND chips that the situation of domestic memory chip products being suppressed by overseas giants finally came to an end and Chinese companies gained bargaining power against foreign companies. However, with the arrival of the AI era, the market demand for HBF memory chips began to increase. If Chinese companies do not fill this market gap in time, they will face the same situation of being choked in solid-state storage as before. Therefore, Yangtze Memory took another major step, leveraging the architectural advantages of its extacking technology, and directly entered the HBF market, competing head-on with chip manufacturers from the United States and South Korea. What are HBF chips, and what are they used for? Simply put, HBF chips are a type of NAND flash memory chip, mainly used for memory data transmission and storage in computer computing. HBF chips used in AI chips have the characteristics of low latency and high bandwidth, so they are widely used to replace traditional DRAM memory and are currently a leading product in the memory chip field. Unlike traditional HBM chips, HBF chips achieve lower transmission efficiency and latency. They are specifically designed as high-performance AI memory products for large-scale model training, assisting AI chips in model training. However, this development presents a situation that American and South Korean companies least want to see. Firstly, the large-scale production of domestically produced HBF chips will directly impact the monopolistic positions of companies from these two countries in this field. At that time, the implications of China, the world's second-largest AI market after the United States, losing this market share are self-evident. If Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, seizes this opportunity, it could potentially achieve a significant turnaround in the international market. 
Secondly, YMTC holds a first-mover technological advantage in the HBF chip field. This is because this type of chip also uses a stacking method and requires hybrid bonding technology for large-scale mass production. Previously, South Korean memory chip companies such as Samsung and SK Hynix purchased patent licenses from YMTC to produce high-performance memory chips. YMTC's first-generation X-Stacking technology is a hybrid bonding technology. In other words, Chinese companies have accumulated far more patent technology and practical production experience in this area than the memory chip giants in the United States and South Korea. Currently, major memory chip manufacturers have not yet achieved mass production of HBF chips. If YMTC is the first to successfully mass produce and launch them into the market, it will seize a golden opportunity for a comeback. The significance of transforming from a follower to a leader is undeniable. Furthermore, even if American and South Korean companies manage to mass-produce related products first, Chinese companies will still have their own domestically produced alternative solutions in the AI computing field. At that time, American and South Korean memory chip manufacturers will not be able to rely on their own products to inflate prices and profit from Chinese artificial intelligence companies. The United States may not have anticipated that its chip control measures would force China's chip industry to achieve technological breakthroughs in such a short time. If NAND memory chip production can be achieved without relying on overseas supply, and HBF chips can also be produced without relying on overseas supply chains in the future, then the opponent's chip blockade strategy will completely collapse. As for South Korea, they didn't anticipate that, in addition to their competitors the United States and Japan, China would also catch up in the memory chip field and become a formidable rival. As time goes on, China will inevitably achieve more localization of high-end chips. At that time, it won't just be a loss for the United States and South Korea. Those companies that closed their doors to Chinese companies under the tyranny of U.S. chip restrictions will likely face a reckoning. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave comments and discuss.